I have a wonderful guest this morning that I'm so excited to talk to. And the reason why is because she's once again, somebody who is demonstrating that, you know, quote, average people doing everyday things can do extraordinary things. Hannah, welcome to the show. Hi. How are Thank you? Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Oh, you're don't I'm even good. Sound, How are you? sound Norwegian. We were just talking and I hadn't heard you talk yet, but you don't, you're, you're half Norwegian or just spend half your time in Norway or both. I'm half Norwegian. I'm okay. well, yeah, I guess both too, but <laughs> half nice. Norwegian, half American. Yeah. Nice. I, I guess I would have expected an, an accent is, is, uh, do people in Norway sound the same or is there's a, what languages do you guys speak out there? We speak Norwegian. <laughs> and then, I thought so. Yeah. And my mom speaks, I mean, she's American, so I speak like this to her. So okay, it gotcha. just never went away. Very mm -hmm. cool. Very cool. Awesome. Mm -hmm. It must be cool to show up and be American and then show up and be Norwegian in Norway, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a lot funner to be Norwegian here because <laughs> you can kind of hide the language a little bit, which is fun. <laughs> what what got you in, what do you do in your real life and what got you mm -hmm. in legendary well right now i um, i said your I real life like <laughs> yeah real life <laughs> what else do you do outside of legendary i guess is the better way to say it yeah i um i have a part-time job uh at a grocery store and then i uh, do a little bit of music on the side and that's oh. kind of what i do so how's it going for you here with this, with the, with these, um, these skills and business models that we're teaching you and that you're, you're on the show because you're implementing them and doing well, how's, how's that been like for you to do something out? Well, even the title of the show is think outside the, the box and we'll talk about creating content and marketing that's outside of the box, but how does it mm -hmm. feel to be doing something? I mean, this is a long way away from the grocery store. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Absolutely. Um, it feels, uh, it's really fun. I'm having a good time. Uh, cause I, I was a little shy at first and I didn't know if I really want to put my face on TikTok cause there's a lot of mean people out there. <laughs> and then, you know, and it took me a while to really get in the groove of it. And I just started having fun. And I think that's where my skill sets that I learned from you just kind of kicked in even more because it just gave me the confidence to just go all in. Mm, mm. Well, that is really the key to this, right? Is once you, you don't really gain the confidence from learning the information, you gain the confidence from having the information and then you learn it by actually doing it. That's where the real learning comes in. And I think that's not nice that you said that it highlights that aspect of where the real magic happens. So what was that like for you to transition? You went through the challenge, you've, you invested in your education and bought the blueprints and then it was game time. What was that like for you to yeah. actually start implementing the stuff that you're learning? And going I was nervous. Camera, for example, going on camera, doing yeah. putting yourself out there. Yeah, I was really nervous and I didn't really know like I knew where to start, but then I didn't, if that makes sense. Um, because I had the skill sets and I, you know, learned all this stuff, but I was still kind of overwhelmed in a way. Um, so I was really nervous and then I kind of just went online and just looked at all these different affiliates profiles and just kind of looked with at what they're doing. With a new set of eyes, right? With a yes. new set of eyes? Yes. And yeah. just kind of looked at what was working for them and what was not and just kind of tried to implement some of that into my own content. Yeah. Yeah. It, when I mm -hmm. say through a different set of eyes, what I mean by that is a lot of us are out there looking at people on the internet before we come to legendary and we don't see anything. We just see content to, to, to get entertained by. We, that's yes. what we see. We just see an app to waste time on. That's what we see. It's a place for us to escape for a moment. That's mm -hmm. what it is for us. And then once we go through our, once you go through our training, you can go back to that same app and you just see money everywhere. <laughs> you just see opportunity <laughs> everywhere. You're like, that's wow, true. that's why they're doing what they're doing. Oh, that's what she's doing over here. Is it was there a little bit yeah. of that going on? Oh yeah. Yeah. You start to understand a lot more. Not even just about like affiliate marketing, but just like like how why influencers do what they do, you know, or just like everybody who makes money online in some sort of way, you like understand it on a different level. 
cool. So I'm going to put your TikTok handle up for people to be able to, to, to um, connect with you and follow you and learn from you. Talk to us a little bit about some of the things that you've learned, tips that you have about creating content that's kind of outside of the box that I interpret that or assume what you mean is that doesn't look like everybody else's. But what what say you in your own words? What's what what? What is thinking out the box getting you away from? Give us that context as well and tell mm -hmm. us the maybe pitfalls that you see new marketers falling into and why you moved so we have a little of the backstory. Yeah, sure. Um, how you I, I would say evolved is a better way than a better word than moved. You evolved your content, I would assume. And that's the the kind of context or backstory that that I think is also important. Yeah. Um, I learned quickly that copy and paste really just didn't work, you know, and it's, um, it's a way of doing it, but if you like make it your own and like take ideas from people, that's fine. But as long as you like twist them and kind of make them your own, whether that's writing different captions or having, you know, different texts in your videos or doing something different, like on camera while you're videoing yourself, that's just something that's a little bit more different and that people might catch their eye on because it's like if you see um, the same thing, what you know, scrolling down, people saying the exact same thing, that's boring, number one. But then that's kind of like, well, this is kind of staged or this doesn't seem real or, you know, people can kind of get these negative vibes from that. And um, I really experienced that. So that's how I kind of just was trying to get out of the box a little bit and kind of think for myself what might work for me and what might catch people's eye. Mm. So you were getting the negative feedback. You were getting people kind of saying you, you felt like maybe you, you were beginning to get a little bit of hate in a little in it, but it wasn't just, it was kind of about the content itself. Like I've seen this or whatever you were beginning to feel like your audience was picking up on the kind mm -hmm. of that they'd seen that video a few times before that you weren't the first one who was introducing and you're kind of sitting there saying, okay, like it's now time. I'm comfortable. I've done videos on camera. Now I've gotten the hang of it. Now it's time for me to kind of to, to make my own mark. Right. Or yeah. at least yeah. give, give, or at least make a unique twist on something. So it really truly, doesn't sound the same as other people's and and so what yes. were some of the little things that you began to do and how did you become be, be, begin to be able to come up with original ideas or at least you know alter some of the ideas that you have and make them more your own yeah um i still definitely like look at um other people's videos and kind of take some inspiration from it but mainly right now i go look at sounds because if i look at sounds and listen to them, I kind of can get my own little ideas in my head. And it's like, if somebody has done kind of something like that before, that's fine. But I didn't know that, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's something I'm making from scratch for myself. Um, and it feels good. And it's also really fun okay. to sit there and kind of figure out some ideas just from the sounds you're finding. Okay, that's interesting. So you're starting with yeah. sounds. You're starting with sounds, yeah. and then you're go you're going from there. You're looking at how you can fit in maybe a point at the screen and do your own kind of. I mean, a lot of the point and text on screen style videos are great, and and you can you can actually really personalize those by even using just little video clips of yourself mm -hmm. and putting yeah. text on it like that. But what you're saying is you find the audio first and then go from there. Mm -hmm. It's really, yeah. really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and it helps that like, I am a very <clears throat> musical person. So for me, that helps me a lot, but I can like find a trending sound and then find a couple keywords in that song and then kind of be like, Oh, okay. I can do this or yeah. Yeah. So that yeah. makes it fun. I want, well, there you go. And making it fun is, is important. I mean, I, one of the things that I know is that if something's not fun, I'm not going to follow through no fun, no follow through, <laughs> you know, so I've got to find <laughs> yeah. a way. I've got to find a way to get some enjoyment out of this. And I love that. So I wonder how many of you who are listening would love music or consider yourself musically inclined and instead of, or just um, an ear for music. And instead of looking at the audio as kind of like, 
a confusing element or something that's instead start there and see if you can get, you can feel the vibe, you can feel the music. And it's almost like creating your content more from, you know, your, it's almost like, it's almost like, it's almost like now you are, you're connected to the content more because you're, you're feeling the vibe you gotta. And to me, I, I really can relate to this because I love music and I've got a Sono system at both, you know, my office house, my regular house, I, probably right after this, I'll hit my Sonos, <laughs> turn it way up and just vibe yeah. for a few minutes, you know? And so I really kind of, so you're also picking out specific keywords sometimes from the lyrics and trying to yeah. use that as a starting point or as a, a focus for the video. Could you say more about that? Yeah, um, I mean, I don't have a specific example right now, but it's just like there was this one trend um, that went around um, and it was just kind of like, an, it was just a funny little thing, but I think the words were just kind of like, uh-oh, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I just grabbed that and then I was like, okay, what can I make with that? And then I make, made probably five videos just with that sound yeah wow so it's yeah that i love that you know and this also reminds me that content can be simple nowadays it really can be simple yes. it needs to be simple and i'm thinking about back in my day when i first got started you know <laughs> but seriously nothing <laughs> seems simple everything had to be long form memes didn't exist so there wasn't like that kind <laughs> of quick little like you know people People want things in bite-sized pieces now, and they're they're okay with that. They yeah. they, they want them in bite-sized pieces, and um, and knowing that people go to these platforms for entertainment, and we're just gonna slide a little edutainment on them, <laughs> you know, just yeah. educate them a little bit, you know, because an educated person will buy more. Um, you're just kind of saying, hey, how can I vibe with these people, and then make it really simple? If I'm talking about something that's already a lyric in the song it's even easier to understand. Yeah. Yes. And that's, Absolutely. that's important for people when they're scrolling, you don't want to have to make them think too hard. No, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so what else? The attention span on TikTok, I feel like is very little. Oh my God. Some of these comments are hilarious. These spam comments. Dr. Arasa is real and suffering from herpes virus. Come on, clever. Nah, get off of our thing and stop, stop spamming our live with this crap. All right. Um, so what else? <laughs> I'm serious. The, 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 some of the things that people put in the, in the comments, the spam either bots or these people are getting paid to do this. It's kind of like those comments where yeah. they're like, I worked with Christy for you know two weeks and made fifty thousand dollars in crypto you know hit her up on whatsapp yeah. on this number it's like <laughs> i know am i stupid <laughs> you know yeah I mean, come yeah. on um, i had a lot of those on my tiktok page for a while <laughs> the, the, yeah the crypto i met this person and she changed my life here here's her whatsapp number or whatever yes. it's like yeah no <laughs> yeah no thanks. <laughs> so what else? What else? Well, it's the new, you know, Nigerian email scam. You know, is really kind of what it mm. is. You know, I, I've got a Pretty uncle much. that's a Nigerian king, and I got a, you know, he's got fifty million for me, but I need you to wire me twenty thousand so I can get the right. It's like okay, um, but you yeah. know how you know a marketing campaign works. You want to? Do you know how? You can always tell if marketing's working. If they keep doing it, if you're, well, yeah, there you go. It's as simple as that. There you go. If if they keep doing <laughs> it, so in that email scam has been going on for a long time, and so is this other these other scams. So what my my point is is that people are engaging in in sending money, mm -hmm. which just is like, yeah, yeah, crazy. Like, I mean, you, you yeah. know, some of us complain about, well, I, you know, I did this or I did that, or I started a business and it's not working out yet or something on the internet. It's like, yeah. well, somebody just said $20,000 to a Nigerian <laughs> email scam. Just chill. You got it pretty good today, person. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are some of your favorite things about this? I mean, you say that you're also still part-time working in a grocery store, mm -hmm. which is like super inspiring to me because mm -hmm. I can relate to that. I was still working construction when I started this under my father. So mm -hmm. 
I mean, some would call that not even like a real job, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it was like a family job. And so <laughs> what is different? Like what you must feel like you have two different lives or something. And 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 what is your next step? Like where do you, where are you going? Not where do you see yourself going? Like where where is this business taking you right now? And what are your next yeah. steps with your life now because of this? I, um, I'm just going to keep growing. Uh, honestly, that's, that's my goal. And to eventually be able to do this full time is my goal. Um, and something I really want to do and am going to do eventually. Um, <clears throat> I think it's, it's, it's felt like two different lives. And at some points it's been hard to, uh, do them both and like make time for them both and not be totally worn feel like i'm totally worn out yeah. and overwhelmed but it's i got into a really nice routine that really helped me um i would like would make like 20 videos in one day and then that would like keep me for like a week and then I, in another week i would make another 20 videos and i would just kind of do it like that mm -hmm. um so that made it a little bit easier yeah um but yeah i'm planning on trying to and do this full time nice because i i really like it and it's nice to be able to have your own schedule and do what you want to do in life and not be uh <laughs> placed in one place and have to stay there yeah for sure for sure um you know i hear i see some comments i want to just address them real quick you know some people are saying hey you know so what do you do here just make money just make videos that promote affiliate marketing um, no, no, you don't. You, th these are skills. We actually teach four core business models here at Legendary. Courses, coaching, and events, or you can do affiliate marketing. These are four ways that you can sell information. And the reason why selling information is just better, well, because of what we just went through when you saw supply chains and everything else. And that was a great example of why selling digital products, similar to why software is a great business, because you don't have yeah. to warehouse it. You don't have to manufacture it. It doesn't require, you know, it requires human beings to sit there and code. And it's, it's kind of, it's a sweat equity type thing. It doesn't require, besides the energy that the use that the computers use, but it doesn't require tons of, you know, Tons of brick and mortar resources, you know, uh, warehouses and things of that nature. Even software can be built from, you know, people working virtually. So when we're sell, so, okay, I don't do software because I'm not a coder and I don't want to learn coding. I just want to learn some simple marketing strategies and a couple of different business models that I can, you know, combine with those mark with those business models that can help me to work from home and 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 just kind of you know i can scale it up as big as a company like legendary because we eat our own cooking we're not you know we're not sitting here saying hey drop shipping is the business to do while we make all our money selling courses and coaching and events right we're telling you that even our business legendary marketer sells courses coaching and events because that's what i've personally sold for over 10 years and have had no interruptions in my income or business and it's only grown year after year and events, whether it be recessions, natural pandemics, you know, natural disasters like type of things, it, it, it never interferes with a business because it's virtual. It's all, there's nothing that needs to travel from person to person. And nowadays the events have even morphed into hybrid events to where you can just do live events on zoom and not even have people travel to you. Although, we still do live masterminds. So I wanted to just address that, that question because a lot of people like you, Hannah, come in, you worked in a grocery store, you didn't have yeah. a, a previous expertise or whatever. So many of our students just begin to kind of promote products in the online marketing space and the affiliate marketing space and the make money online space because that's what they were introduced to. That's what they know. That's what they were looking for. So it's easy for them to transition. And then sometimes they go off and they realize, oh, I have this expertise in Forex or cryptocurrency or um, or or mental health or or um, I mean, there is a wide array of different professions and expertise in our community. And so 
after a little while of working in a niche like the make money online niche or some other niche that you start in, you might transition over to a different niche once you've developed those skills and confidence. But please understand 346 people who are listening live right now and, and the other thousands that will listen to this maybe through a podcast or whatever, this is, these are skills and business models that you can fit into any niche and really sell any product. And even the skills can be applied to some of you all's brick and mortar businesses and jobs or existing jobs to where your marketing sucks or your business is not growing or you, you want to move up in your job. The, the skills themselves are 2023 and beyond skills. These are the skills that you need now to be able to continue to, if you want to tap into the kind of the gold rush that's happening on the internet right now with content creation in sort of regular people monetizing the internet, like regular people. Even yesterday we had, um, who did we have on yesterday? My man, my boy, um, Tyler. He's talking about already starting to get paid from Facebook reels. I mean, there's also mm -hmm. just through doing these business models and by creating content, AKA doing marketing, you also begin to create multiple streams of income because YouTube, now Facebook are, are paying you depending on your view count. So you, you start to have videos that start to get high view counts and you start to get additional income streams coming in that way as well. And, and it just really kind of spawns from there. It really, the opportunity, eventually you have to decide what you're going to focus on. And you, because there's so much opportunity once you get into it, you see, oh my gosh, there's so many different things I could do on the internet. For me, I've just stuck with this simple business model, which is selling courses, coaching, and events, and doing affiliate marketing for the past decade. And I got a funny email. I want to show you this email the other day, Hannah. It's just, it's, okay. it's really embarrassing, actually. <laughs> hey, Weber, I got to show this to you. I mean, this is an example of what the hell I'm talking about. And I, and I and I really have to I have to follow up on this I have to follow up on this today, uh, so I'm glad that I'm bringing it up right now. But anyways, I'll share my screen here real quick. Chrome tab A Weber. Okay, so can you see this? Yeah. Yeah, we've 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 moved. Let me expand it. We've moved to 100% digital payments via P PayPal. You have a referral payment waiting to be paid out for $40,119.23. However, your account is still set to check. And this is just an example. I haven't I haven't taken affiliate payout for AWeber for years, I guess. I've been promoting <laughs> AWeber for a long time. I don't know how long it's been, uh, actually. But, you know, just to get a just to get a, an email, you know, that that. Uh, you know, I've got forty thousand dollars that I need to go and 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 collect. Uh, is is one of the funny Wild. things about, about this business? You know, it's just yeah. You, you know, you start to develop income streams, and in in I've said this before, and this would be an example of kind of what I'm talking about. I've said this before that once you start, once you start getting things going, um you know, it's difficult to kind of turn them off. You know, you, yeah. you literally have to go and deactivate things and turn them off. Now I want to give an income dis you know, disclaimer and disclosure since I just showed a large, you know, a large screenshot. That's not the average results and you shouldn't expect that. I'm a professional that started, sure, exactly where you're at, but have learned these skills and that happened to be a silly little email that I got that I didn't even realize there was $40,000 sitting there that I needed to pull out. And it, 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 seriously, I showed it to my wife. <laughs> I think I showed it to Julie. I was like, hey, look at this, you know, and it's just a great example <laughs> of how things, how your streams of income can begin to pick up and multiply over the months and years. Yeah. Absolutely. What was it like for you the first time you had a commission notification or what? I mean, did you have a, a little mini celebration? Yeah, it was fun. Uh, <laughs> it was really exciting because I <clears throat> I didn't get my first commission until about a month after I started like consistently posting. And uh, I, you know, you kind of get a little bit discouraged because 
you see a lot of people say, you know, they get their first after a couple weeks or after a few days and you're just like, what am I doing wrong? So when I finally got it, it was really, really fun. Um, and I had a blast, even though it wasn't, it wasn't much. It was, <laughs> it wasn't much at all, but it was something. And that really kept me going and really gave me the motivation to keep going. Cause I was like, if I can do it once I can do it again. Absolutely. Um, and I really learned why it took me a while too. Um, and I really, really just really learned in a good way that consistency is really key. It might take a while, but it really, it, it really is true. Mm. I agree. I agree. I want to show you something else because we talk about our first commission. You know, I want to show you this here real quick. This is a folder. I've showed this before, but it's a folder of, of a lot of old photos and somewhere in here, you know, I take little photos along the way of different things that I've done, whether it was speaking or whatever, but the most important ones are some of these older photos of, you know, me by my truck holding my first couple of commission checks, you know, back yeah. when I first started. Um, that's a real important picture to me. This, this was a picture of my truck when I finally sold it to get the money to just keep my business going. You know, there's my old phone number, 520-5400. Don't have that anymore, so don't call it. But uh, <laughs> there's me working construction. And I just pulled this out. I was talking to my mom the other day, and I she was, like, talking about this guy. Actually, her pastor, her old pastor. This is me actually replacing a sewer line at, at his house with my dad. And, you know, just getting those photos. This is me gifting my dad a, a house. Of course, you've probably seen me. This is me working in the first house that I lived in when I started the business. So, you know, I show these to you because these these photos are important to tell your story sometimes for somebody to have that visual of you when you first got started and and really see, you know, because your life is going to change if you stick with this. Your life is going to change for the better. That's the goal, right? Here's another one of my very, very first, very first commission checks. Very first, if not the first. Right there. Back in my day, they didn't do this. Back in my day, they didn't do this digital payment shit. You got a real check. <laughs> <laughs> Had to wait for it in the mail. <laughs> you, you really did. You really did. So, um, you know, this, this is what you, you are a real inspiration and a real, real kind spirit. And I really, really wish the absolute best for you. Um, what would, what advice would you give to somebody who's, who's brand new here? That's kind of on the fence. I would say go for it because you don't have much to lose and keep going. Don't give up. Just keep going. That's, I mean, I, that really kept me going. Just keep going. Yeah. Because you will get there if you keep going. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, golly, you're an inspiration. And I really hope I can follow up and have a, another episode with you. I love to keep talking to you and, and follow your journey and, of course, help it however I can. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Hannah. We'll take care. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Stay legendary, okay? Thank you. You too. All right. Bye. All right, my friends, just another wonderful example and, and conversation with, um, with somebody who just continues to prove that anything's possible. And um, you can scroll through day after day on the show and listen to these stories from wonderful people. These are the people who are the, behind the comments that you ask inside of the Facebook group. These are the people, just real people, all of us are real, just people with all real lives, doing real stuff, working at grocery stores, walking dogs, being married, being dating, raising kids. I mean, hard stuff. And, and at the same time, you know, doing something, doing something about it, doing something about it. Not just, if you don't like it, you know, there's a there's a meme that I love that, that you got the politician up there in front of the in front of the crowd. And he says, who wants change? <laughs> and then he's like, who wants to change? You know, so. Want to change yourself as well, if you want change and be willing to do 
whatever it takes, whatever it takes and stay consistent with it. And you will thank yourself. All right. Be legendary, my friends. We'll see you back here for another episode tomorrow. Thanks again, Hannah. Go follow her at Make Money with Hannah and get out of here. We'll talk to you later. Peace.